Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. Different setup a little bit today. Uh, someone who owns a lathe probably noticed that when you go back and forth with the carriage like this, you gotta be have, you know, sometimes dark streaky lines there or, uh, in the oil or uh, this is more like uh, likely just a, a sign of that there's something really there, something that's whirring out. So your ways, every time you go back and forth and you see that black stuff, I mean, it's be uh, pe little pieces of metal that have been gr ground off. So you want to prevent this. The way to prevent this is you got wipers in front there, uh, in the back there, also in this style stock back and forth. You got uh, wipers that will keep the ways clean and also stop the grit or the gritty stuff from going under the carriage because when it goes under the carriage it rubs and then you got the you got pretty bad uh, situation there for as a uh, you know wear and deterioration so i'll be using some pieces of leather to temporarily fix my uh my late until i get uh whether you know make some steel patches and you know make the uh, the the, uh, the proper setup with leather to make some wipers could be leather could be felt it, there are a few materials uh, that are decent materials to uh, do the job and um Today I'll be doing a temporary solution to keep the uh, grit from going under the uh, carriage. So uh, let's get at it. Let's just remove them. This one's easy. Sometimes they stick a little bit, but uh, not too bad. Main problem about this one is uh, this rubberized part is getting kind of dried out a little bit. Then the grit and the nasty stuff in the under it is not uh, it's not good for a light. So let's go uh, do uh, at least a temporary fixing for that. Oops, the one in the front is a little bit more stuck. Just a second on this one. Let's remove this carefully. Normally you just get the edge. There you go. And this one. It's got the, this is kind of rubberized stuff. Gets hard and it's not, uh, you know, gets full, uh, filled up with uh, grit. And it gets hard. It's cracky a little bit. Yeah, those wipers are getting pretty worn, and also, like I said, and pretty dirty also. Just remove the uh, extra grit in there, the stuff that gets into the fold. They're not all made the same. Some are made with uh, leather. Some are made with uh, felt. These ones are made of a uh, rubber, and the rubber is getting pretty dried out on this. Like I said, it's more a temporary measure what I'm doing here. It's to let's say save you time a little bit or if you're stuck or you know better that than the wearing out the ways here are a few the uh, tools you may need to uh, accomplish the job this is leather this leather is about uh, three millimeters thick about uh, in ounces um, it will be about eight ounces like uh, every 64th of an inch adds up to be an ounce on this kind of a type of leather you can get some uh, old shoes uh, belt uh, anything that's leather um ideally this is this is new letter but uh could be just about anything do the cut just make a little bit wider than the wipers themselves the old wipers use as a model here you go a little bit on the side i use a little uh steel uh, steel uh, scale But if you care about doing some of those, you can make yourself some steel plates that will shape up to the leather, and you can use this uh, this method to make proper uh, proper wipers. Also, that would work, no problem at all. Cutting down. There we go. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect as long as the shape is pretty close from what it is originally. Okay, I've got the luxury of having this kind of a leather punch. Make something that the screw will uh, go in and center yourself. Visually is good enough. There you go. And let's make this one at the same time. This is the uh, square one. This is the V'd one. There you go. If I line up the holes, let me just this for you okay holes are lined up and you see the bottom here is a little bit more than the wiper that is pretty worn and this will give us uh, at least some wiping so the uh, the dirt doesn't go under the, the, the carriage that's the main uh, goal of the wipers let's go install this now time to clean this up a little bit 
a little bit of a WD to soften up the crumb. This is coming out good. Let's get rid of this too. Make sure that uh, everything is wiped. Doesn't go into under the uh, carriage. Let's make a total clean up. First, uh, first thing. Let's line them up. I got the screws here. One down. The other one. I'll have to press it down a little bit to line up with the holes. Oh, it's a little higher, so you got to press it down a little bit. That's good. It's going down. And before you uh, totally put the screw in this in its place, start the second one. There you go. They're started. And to complete this, this is whey oil. Whey oil has a uh, tendency to be pretty sticky compared to uh, other kinds of oil. Kay. Same thing on the other side. Oh, oh. Just got to make sure I got my screws. Chip pan's pretty full again. There you go. This is the way it goes. The V1. Push it down a little bit so that the screw engages. You got a little bit of latitude on the angle. Just make sure you don't go cross thread though. Let's try this now. This light's got a nice feature on it though. Um, there's a reservoir there and you have to check the level. There is a, I put way oil in there and there's a pump here, that little lever there, you activate a few times and this will pump some oil into the cavities and the ways and the different channels for the front part of the carriage and also will send it to the back of the carriage. So whenever, uh, whenever you work with it, you don't have to worry about uh, spreading. You, you, can use the, you can use the bottle sometimes, I do, but uh, it will also you know, have a self feature, uh, a feature of self -lubrica lubrication. That's a nice feature. Both sides have been done. The side on the uh, side, of, you know, the chucks there, and this side's been done too. So keep your uh, hard grits out of off the uh, off the machine. Sometimes I add a little bit; doesn't matter. More is better than not enough, and this will allow the light to uh, last much longer. There you go. Smooth. And you're also going to want to do the same with the key stuck. They're similar and uh, a little bit different in size and they're doing the same function so if you do one do the other one